Well hello again friends and welcome back to Red Dead Online. Today's video is going to be slightly different than usual and there are a few things I want to get off my chest. I think there are things that need to be said sooner rather than later about the current state of Red Dead Online. For the record, this isn't going to be some bitch and moan video about the economy in Red Dead Online. I think that plenty has been said about that by now and people have already made their own opinions about it. But what I do want to talk about is the fact that certain mechanics from the single player campaign for some reason never made the transition in the online experience which makes no sense as you will see as this video progresses. And I'm going to start things off with probably my biggest annoyance in Red Dead Online currently at the very least in terms of general gameplay and that is Rockstar Games decision to completely remove the camp system and instead bring this new one that makes even less sense the more you use it. For the uninitiated, in the single player campaign you had two types of camps. Your gang camp, which was dependent on the main story and it functioned as a sort of like a base of operation most of the time, and then we had the smaller or disposable camps that you could set up at any given time in any location you want to, and you could use it for things such as eating, sleeping, crafting and so on. Well, well, that's not the case with Red Dead Online unfortunately because well Rockstar Games decided to make a hybrid out of these two mechanics and in the process of doing so they also removed the reasons that made these very features convenient and fun. And I think this is the keyword we're looking for here lads, I think it's convenience. A lot of the stuff that makes Red Dead Redemption 2 fun and convenient was either scrapped or redesigned just to make things more difficult than they have to be. It makes close to zero sense to me why you, a supposed cowboy, cannot put three sticks together and a sleeping bag and instead need to pay some random NPC a daily fee to set up a camp somewhere in a remote part of the map and for some odd reason it doesn't even stay in the same location all the time. So it like always moves around the place and I mean it makes so less sense to me the way the camp system is set in the online component. I would much rather have the small camp camp feature back even if it meant that I have to gather all of the sticks myself, put them up together and even start the fire if that is what I had to do. Now I might sound a little bit harsh but this wouldn't be as merely a big of a problem as it is if Rockstar Games kept to absolutely fundamental mechanics in the online as they did with the offline experience. And this brings me to the second point which is sleeping and eating, specifically in terms of eating and at any of the countless inns, hotels, restaurants and houses that exist in the world of Red Dead Online, you cannot actually eat nor sleep for some reason. It seems that these two possibilities were completely scrapped and many of you who just transitioned from the single player campaign to the online might find it surprising, maybe even baffling, that you cannot order food of any kind from any of the existing joints in the game, even though many of them still having their signs up pointing out that there's food that you can buy. I mean, yes, you can order alcohol and I guess that kind of counts as a meal if you're like an alcoholic, but it's for the equivalent price of a very expensive drink and unless you become your own chef or discover a cooking pot by mistake, you won't ever be able to eat food and replenish your core stats unless you like, well, pretty much go at the camp, which again, as I've said, has its own problems in itself and this like whole gaming cycle the entire gameplay loop seems to be broken right now, it just doesn't make sense to me and given the fact that Rockstar Games has put such a great emphasis on realism, on authenticity, it's baffling seeing this all thrown down the drain just to make a little bit more money from the online experience. The same goes with sleeping pretty much but at the very least that makes a little bit of sense, you can't really set out your character to sleep until morning while the rest of the server is still stuck in the middle of the night. I get that and that one makes Make sense, but they could at the very least make it behave similar to the way resting works at the campfire for example, as in give the players the possibility to rent rooms as they could in the single player campaign for the night and for a decent price and let the characters rest quote unquote to have the core stats replenished as they would at your own camp and it would make sense, I mean it makes sense in my mind, I'm not really sure why this hasn't made it into the game, I reckon that sleeping in a warm bed 
under some soft blankets will do a better job at replenishing your core stats compared to like staying in front of the fire or sleeping out in the open. I'm just saying. So I'm not really sure why Rockstar Games decided to talk about realism, authenticity and all of this when it has been clearly not the design choice with the online experience. Now I know many of you who have played Red Dead Online for the past few days find these two features not as important as like others or even necessary but the reason Red Dead Redemption 2 made such a good impression on everybody was specifically because of these small things. It's the combined effort that made the experience so much better. Many of those small and even some of the big things are now pretty much completely gone or changed into something pretty much devoid of substance or better yet sense and that is my opinion you don't have to agree with it but currently I find the experience in the online to be very devoid of substance it's like I'm on grind 24 7 I'm not feeling connected to anything or anybody and it's in such a strong contrast with the offline experience that it's almost like a whole different game but yeah anyway moving forward the third point I want to go over briefly which is something I see being mentioned over and over again is in regards of the lack of hair growth. Again, one of those things that made the game special, you know, scrapped from the online for some unknown reason. Unfortunately, there is no way to grow your hair in Red Dead Online as you would in the single player campaign. It doesn't naturally grow over time and honestly, I found this to be a nice touch when I played Red Dead Redemption 2. I found it to be one of those things that made the game great. It brought realism and despite being just a small detail, it made things interesting. That again was completely scrapped of course and instead you can go at the barber shop and pretty much choose whatever facial feature you want. It doesn't really matter if it's long hair, short hair, it doesn't matter if you were bald previously and now you want like the longest hair in the world, you can do that as long as you cough up some money and I think that is like a big problem with this game right now and I know I said I won't go into the economy too much, I won't but I just wanted to mention this. I think there is too much concession just to make more money in the detriment of gameplay features and fun. And speaking of unique experiences, one of the things that I truly enjoyed about the game is the breaking or quote unquote taming of wild horses. And while we could argue that the single player version could have been much improved and rewarding outside of of course the white Arabian horse that you could get, at the very least the mechanic existed in that game mode and it gave you like a small sense of accomplishment. For the online unfortunately it did not make it at all, which is a shame because I was really looking forward to it among of course other features. Even if it meant that I wouldn't get the best stats of a horse, I feel like it's such a missed opportunity with the way horse keeping in general is done in Red Dead Online. For now your so called four legged companion doesn't even feel like a companion anymore. I find it more like a car rather than anything. All of the horse bonding BS that Rockstar Games was throwing like a month ago seems to have pretty much gone out the window the moment they realized they can make more money from the horse deal. As I've said, horses to me right now in the online experience feel more like cars rather than companions that you have to bond with. You can only purchase them from the stables, you pay a daily stable fee for some reason even though 99% of the time they are with you out in the wild, they are not occupying storage space and then there is also the horse insurance fee but at the very least I guess that one makes sense, I mean you need insurance for your horse even though it doesn't really die, it just goes into a down state and you need to pay the vet bill. The funny part about this is that horses are still spawning in the online by the way, you can even capture them, you can can break them and even use them for some time, but the stables will not accept them, they pretty much despawn the moment you leave them behind and again, it's such a missed opportunity and it wouldn't even be such a slap in the face if the game made it clear that you cannot break horses anymore, but it doesn't, it just spouts some BS about the stable master not accepting or not having enough room for another horse, which again doesn't explain anything and it's even more interesting that there is 
actually part of the mechanic still existing in the game but well it doesn't work as in it doesn't let you take ownership of whatever horse you just got. The way I envisioned this mechanic would be breaking and taming horses as you would in the offline experience except for the online make it a little bit more challenging, make it so that people can even trade them or sell them at the market. I think that would be a nice way of making a little bit of cash considering that you're being paid in peanuts anyway for all of the effort that you're putting. Anyway, the final point or the final few points I want to make before wrapping this up are about a few things that I think could be executed a little bit better and I specifically want to mention the bow and the fishing rod acquisition. I think the way your story in the online starts is seriously having some pacing issues. You can fight and commit mass murders from the get-go own powerful high-end weapons but need higher levels or money for simple things such as a bow and a fishing rod. I think the players should be introduced to the bow in a different manner to how it is right now, maybe something similar to how it was in the single player campaign. I think the way Rockstar Games managed it in the single player campaign was pretty much perfect. It was combining story narrative with actual gameplay and the same goes with the fishing rod. You're introduced to fishing only after level 4. 14 or 15 when you first acquire the fishing rod. I mean how hard could it be to just get a fishing rod outright and just go fishing for a change and not go on a killing spree from the first minute of gameplay. That's what I'm saying. It's simple things made unnecessarily unfun and inconvenient just so they can rake a little bit more money I guess. I guess that's the only reason they are making these design choices. And don't get me wrong, the online is fun, I'm having a lot of fun in it but there are a lot of strange design choices that I wish would get fixed sooner rather than later and as a fan and a customer I feel pretty much obliged to voice my concern about certain things and that is what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm going to leave this for now, I'm not going to say anything more about these issues, of course you are free to go ahead and voice whatever issues you're having in the comment section below and I will see you guys later, so peace.